hello guys i welcome you all to my channel engineers academy do hit the subscribe button if it helps in your learning now we are going to solve this problem which says that the spool of wire having a weight of 300 pounds rest on the ground at b and against the wall at a determine force p required to begin pulling the wire horizontally of the pool the coefficient of static friction between the spool and its point of contact is 0 0.25 so we have to find this p magnitude in order to begin pulling of this wire so uh, so if we are on the verge of beginning uh, pulling the wire so before that the system will be in equilibrium so let's say that this is our free body diagram and here we have let's say uh, point a so if if we pull this rope so this p force will try to rotate this pool in the counterclockwise direction so at a we will have the friction in the downward direction in order to oppose that counterclockwise moment and at B, we will have the friction force towards the left in order to oppose that counterclockwise moment. And similarly, the surfaces are going to apply the normal force. So here we will have an A on the free body diagram and the friction is going to act in the downward direction. This will be FA and this is equal to mu S times an A. So mu S is given which is 0 0.25 times an A. At B, we will have the normal force of the surface and we will have the friction force that will be fb this will be again equal to 0 0.25 times nb and the weight is going to act at the center of the spool and this is equal to 300 pounds now if we apply the uh, equilibrium conditions let's say that this is my positive x and this is my positive y so now if i apply the summation of forces along x this must be equal to zero this is our positive x direction so this n a is acting in the negative x this f b is acting in the negative x and here we will have that force p so let me represent that force p is as well which is required so n a is acting in the negative direction f b is acting in the negative direction and p is acting in the positive direction so i will write plus uh, minus n a and we will have minus fb this minus fb which is minus 0 0.25 and b and that p force is acting in the positive direction so this is plus p and this is equal to zero now if i apply the summation of forces along y that must also be equals to zero since the system is in equilibrium this is our positive direction now and and a this f a is acting in the downward direction this is acting in the negative y direction so i will write minus 0 0.25 times n a then this n b is acting in the positive y direction so plus n b and the weight is acting in the downward direction so minus 300 so this is uh, minus and this is equal to zero now if we can apply the summation of moment about point o equals to zero as well since the moment about point o will be equals to zero just before uh, the start of the rotation so uh, summation of moment about o will be equals to zero so now this and a is passing through that point o this and b is passing through that point o this and b and this weight is passing to this point O. So and A and B and this weight, they are not going to produce the moment about that point O since their perpendicular distance from that point O is zero. Their moment arm is equal to zero. So this F A, this F B and this P force, they are going to produce the moment about that point O. So as we can see that this F A is producing the clock, uh, the uh, clockwise moment about that point O like this. This F B is producing the clockwise moment and we are assuming that the counterclockwise moment is positive so i will write that minus fa which is 0 0.25 times n a and its perpendicular distance from point o is this distance which is the radius of the external circle that is three feet 
so this is the moment arm i will multiply this with three then fb this fb is producing the clockwise moment so i will write minus fb is 0 0.25 times nb and again its perpendicular distance from that point o is again the radius of the external circle that is 3 and this p force is producing the counterclockwise moment about point o so we will write plus since the counterclockwise moment is assumed to be positive and its perpendicular distance of this force p from that point o is 1 feet the radius of the internal circle so if i multiply this p with 1 this will be equal to 0 so p into 1 is p so let me remove this so now 3 3 into 0 0.25 is 0 0.75 so i will write minus 0 0.75 times and a minus 0 0.75 times and b plus p this is equal to 0 let's say this is equation 1 this is equation 2 and this is equation 3 so we have three equations and three unknowns we are required to find that force p which we, which will just uh, begin pulling up the wire from the spool so now if i subtract this equation 1 from equation 3 so let me write that equation 1 so that is minus n a minus 0 0.25 times n b plus p this is equal to 0 and let me subtract this so this will become positive this will become positive this will become negative this will cancel out and minus 0 0.75 times an a plus an a so this will give us plus uh, minus 0 0.75 plus 1 this gives us 0 0.25 times an a and minus 0 0.75 plus 0 0.25 this gives us minus 0 0.5 and b and this is equal to 0 and now from this i can write that minus 0 0.5 and b is equal to minus 0 0.25 times and a minus will cancel out and and b is equal to 0 0.25 divided by 0 0.5 and a and 0 0.25 divided by 0 0.5 gives us 0 0.5 so and b is equal to 0 0.5 times and a so now if i substitute this and b equals to 0 0.5 times and a in this equation 2 so we will get an a so now from equation 2 we have minus 0 0.25 times an a and instead of an b we will write 0 0.5 times an a so that will be plus 0 0.25 times an a and minus 300 this is equal to 0 and if we bring this 300 to the other side of equation it will become positive so we can write that this is equal to plus 300 this is this n b is uh, 0 0.5 times n a this is not uh, this n b is 0 0.5 so this is not 0 0.25 this is 0 0.5 so now uh, my, we can add both of these this is minus 0 0.25 plus 0 0.5 so this will give us plus 0 0.25 and a equals to 300 and an a is equal to 300 divided by 0 0.25 so 300 divided by 0 0.25 will give us 1200 so an a is equal to 1200 pounds so if an a is equal to 1200 pounds then an b is equal to 0 0.5 times an a so putting this an a value in this we will get an b equals to 600 pounds and now putting uh, both of these values in equation 2 so we can uh, uh, in equation 1 let's say putting in equation 1 so let me copy this equation so this is our equation 1 now I will substitute these values so now my um, instead of an a we will write minus and a is 1200 this is minus 0 0.25 and b is 600 plus p this is equal to 0 so minus 1200 
minus 0 0.25 into 600 this gives us minus 1350 plus p equals to 0 or we can say that p is equal to 1350 pound force so at least we need uh, 1350 pound force to just begin pulling the wire in the horizontal direction so this p magnitude the required p magnitude is 13 50 pounds so this is the solution of this particular problem i hope this will help you in your learning let me know in the comments if it helps in your learning also like this video and share my channel with all of your your friends in order to reach out many more students